once again hearty welcome to all of you in this video we are about to see how to select a journal for publication and in this we are about to see what are the conditions and what are the criteria we have to follow for select a journal and what is the checklist we have to have with us very first thing is what is the type of article for the purpose of selection now in the type of article we have to look for is it the top is it uh, article is a what you call a original one like experimental one or it is having like experimental as well as theoretical or it is a case report or it is a review paper it is a literature review paper of our work we have to make a point of that first first, first of all which type of article it is once we mention which type of article it is then we have to work on the title of the article means what is the title of the article and search for uh, like uh, what do you call uh, the journals what are based upon this article like in the article we might be having title of the article we might be having the keywords what are useful for us like that we have to search for later we have to check for the journal metrics and the audience here journal metrics means it could be like its impact factor it can be like it is, is it uh, indexed in some well known index indexing services like web of science scopus pubmed or any other well indexed labels uh, uh, libraries we have to search for and audience what are the what are the target audience for us like that we have to search for our type of article and title of the article once we go ahead with this matrix and audience we finalize this thing later we have to check for the subscription type whether it is a subscription type the journal is like we have to pay the amount or it is uh, an institutional subscription one or individual subscription one is available there and also we have to check for either it is an open access most of the open access journals they ask for article processing charges that's why i mentioned here apc article processing charges once again in some of the journals even though ask for article processing charges here if we fall under different criteria like poor uh, economically bag economically weak countries like that they might have given some criterions here if you see those criterions if our country falls under any of these criterions we might be given some fee concession or sometimes if our covering letter is such that that we can convince the editor that our condition is not so good that we can pay the article processing charges and we can make them for fee exemption this is ha this happens only in very rare cases the paper must be very good the article must be very good as well as they should believe that really our situation is not so good that we can pay for the article processing charges once they feel that they can allow us and and last but not the least we have to look for the acceptance rate when you search for some journals if you go through their volume numbers and issue numbers and their dates you can observe on an average while receiving the paper what is the date while giving the acceptance what is the date there while publishing the date what is the date there like that we can put on the average of those particular journals once you feel that the acceptance acceptance rate is good for the type of article what we have prepared and and also we have to see that is it electronically published or it is a professional publication and here what is the waiting period if we submit the paper from the date of acknowledgement to the date of acceptance to the date of publication and one more point we have to remember here what are the different review points they might ask here like uh, uh, how many times we have to do the revision how much time it will take from revision to publication like that if you look into the some of the journals we will find these points now 
let me give you a small confusion on this one this video is about the journal selection criterion how or what we have to have with us such that we can select a journal easily first of all type of article later title of the article next journal metrics such as its impact factor and its audience who are the audience who are reading those journals next either it is open access or subscription one either individual or institutional one on and the last but not least is the acceptance rate how much at the how much rate they are accepting the papers and what is this publication time here publication time represents from the date of submission to the date of acceptance to the date of revision to the date of final publication how much time they are taking these points must be taken care step by step in a hierarchical order then we have to go for select go for searching for some peer reviewed journals with the help of our supervisor or with the help of the research guidance at the university level or sometimes we can take the experts help also this is how in simple five steps you can go for selecting a journal depending upon these factors i hope this video has helped you to gain some knowledge regarding journal selection criteria if there are any mistakes from our side please do give us suggestions to provide us your own recommendations and also try to watch like and share our videos if you like them kindly subscribe our channel and encourage us for making more such videos of research and academic activities and also scientifically advanced topics thank you all of you